Oh, it's Kurt. Okay, great. <laughs> We're going to keep it moving right along. What you want? Kirtland, get on the stage, everybody. How we doing? Totally awesome. Woo! So for those of you that don't know, shameless plug in the beginning, I am a self-published author, and I just sold my 1,000th book this last Saturday. Woo! I have copies, so see me afterwards if you like sci-fi. So, I am from Florida, and that means I am spicy white trash. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, that means I've spent at least two family vacations picking up brothers, siblings, and family members from the police. And I can also get away with doing the same drugs they did in front of the cops if I wear the right suit. <laughs> so... And I'm sure I'm just the screaming poster child for like what not to do or what not to wear, like a gay man's version of 90s grunge. And so I've made a lot of terrible mistakes. A lot of fun ones. And a lot of them that I don't remember their names, despite my best efforts. So my first time going to a gay bar in Seattle, I was out with one of my old Air Force buddies who I hadn't seen in a few years. I was freshly out, he was out a few years. I got to give him his first edible. Great cherry popping experience for him. I was on four of them. And we go to this gay bar and this dude who looks like a coked up Alan Tudyk, the main bad guy from Spy Kids 1, if you grew up in the 90s or 2000s. And me and him start making out. I don't remember how it happened, but you know, these things happen. And he reaches his hand in my pants and was like, no, 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 <laughs> boundaries. <laughs> and he gets really hurt and just like, I'm so sorry, I should know better, yada, yada, yada. And we go inside and he's buying our drinks, still mopey. I get to be a bitch for no reason. And then all of a sudden he looks at me and goes, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom and clear my nose. Do you wanna come with me? Inside I'm thinking, yeah, no, I grew up in Tampa. I know the side for coke. Outside I'm just like, yeah, no, I can take a leak. So I follow him into the handicapped stall of this gay bar and they probably thought we were just going for fun and not that kind of fun. And he gives me two of the fattest bumps of cocaine I've ever done in my fucking life, like a third of a debit card each. It's nostril. I was done, I was ready to go stumbling out and he looks at me and goes, can I do mine to coke off of your dick? <laughs> It's been on my bucket list since I was 17. And I looked deep within the balls of my heart and thought, who am I to deny this man his dreams? And y'all, one, for those of you that can't do the math, you can't do coke off of a soft dick. So I got a free blowjob on top of easily two or 300 bucks worth of coke. And then he proceeded to do so much coke off my dick that I could not feel my own asshole when I started 30 minutes later. And then I went back to my buddy's place and crashed on his couch. And that, my friends, is free market capitalism at its finest. And what your taxpayer dollars are paying for my disability. <laughs> so thank you, and thank you to Alfred Sniffcock, who will live forever in my memories, as that name and that name alone, because I got distracted and forgot to ask him for his name. <laughs> now, I have another one in the complete opposite direction. Do not remember her name. Matched on Tinder. Showed up, hour away. Little bigger than her pictures. Nothing I wasn't used to before. I'm a Florida man. We adapt, improvise, do meth, overcome. And so I was just like, fuck it, I can at least get my gas money. She opens the door. In all her pictures, she had a full head of hair. Yo, she was like Shaq up there. It was it was crazy. And I had to stand there for a minute and be like, am I about to fuck a bald chick? <laughs> well, totally awesome. Spoiler alert, I fucked a bald chick. <laughs> uh, it works out great when you can palm their head like a basketball and just fuck them from behind, but you're better off choking them if they have the neck for it. <laughs> Otherwise, it just gets lost in what feels like the upper third tint from the chin. Thank you, Totally Awesome. It's been fun. I've had a blast coming to me about my books. I'm in Forsyth Park all the time. And I am a SCAD student. But, once again, VA, so I'm not paying for it.
Everyone clap for your disability.